Hi, I'm Whitney, and today I'm going to be opening up my new grips. So, come bubble wrap. <laughs> that will not look bad. Okay, so. Um, here is what they look like when they first come. They come in a plastic baggie. And here they are. Um, so I have perfectly fine grips that I'm using right now. But the reason I got these is because you're always supposed to have a spare pair of grips. Just in case something happens to my current ones. So you're supposed to have them broken in and ready. So here... This is the little thing. And it's the sizing chart, kind of. And the instructions. And then here they are. So I am size one. Um, I have tried all the sizes. And you know what's kind of cool? Um, each size has a different color. So zeros have um, yellow, ones have blue, and twos have red. So that's pretty cool. So I'm going to start to break these in. Before I forget, I have to write my name on them so no one will take them. And I usually write my initials and then my name. Okay, so now that the, uh, they are officially mine, um, I can start to break them in. So first, you always need to make sure that the straps face out from your wrist, so that way. So first I'm going to... And the holes are always way too small for your fingers. But I'll get to that later. Slip it through the buckle. And usually you would be wearing uh, wristbands underneath this. In fact, I have new wristbands. Okay, so you're always supposed to wear wristbands when you wear grips. In fact, I have a scab there and a scab here, and you always get rips and stuff on your wrist just from, even with the wristbands on, your wrists get all busted up. So, to make sure your wrists are protected. Okay. Okay, back to where we were. So, um, I got these grips on Amazon, and um, I like the brand Rise Sport because that's just the brand that. It has really good and reliable grips. Um, now the reason you have to have spares 
is um, just in case like you go to a competition and your old grips rip, then you don't have uh, you can't compete then because you don't have any because you don't have any grips to wear. So you have to bring your spare just in case something happens to your old ones. I've never had a grip rip, but if I did, that would be very sad. And actually, I have had to use my spares at a competition. And that's because I forgot my real grips at home. So I had to use my spares for the competition. So it's very important that you have an extra pair of grips. Well, look how long these wristbands are. So, this is what they look like. And these wristbands are really long because they're brand new. But So the dowel, this little roll thing right there, that is there so you can grip the bar. Like that. And... At the end, you have to fold them in a certain way, I'll show you. So that is how you wear them and put them on. But you have to make sure they fit your fingers. So I'm going to take these scissors. Why did I put these on? <laughs> So you need to make sure that they fit your fingers. These actually fit my fingers better than I thought they would. But you take one blade of the scissors and kind of hold the other one. And you stick it in the hole. And kind of just like shave off the leather. So it fits your finger. And I don't have to do it too much because these kind of fit me good. But you can see the bits of letter, le letter, leather on the counter. Mm. Okay. So yeah. So you have your grips and you've shaved off the the leather inside of the finger holes. Now um, it's time to mold them so that they're ready when you put them on. So I have water and water is great on grips because you have to um, make them mold to your hand so water is a real good way. So you just spray them with water on the front side. Not too wet, just so they're damp. And then I fold them so that they're ready to go in the bar. I fold where the dowel is that and then you fold it down like that kind of underneath the dowel halfway and then you fold it again on top of the all the stitches like that and then in order to make it stay that way you need to buckle it up And, and that is what it looks like when you fold it up like a little sandwich. <laughs> there we go.
I'm gonna come pull these tire too. I just left it up. And it's um, the reason you spray them is because when leather is new, it's really like bendy and it's like weird. So when you like put the water on it, it stiffens it up and it's better for the. wet so I do the same thing as the other one I fold it where the dowel is fold it halfway and then fold it on top of your name and then strap it up they look like and the water should mold them but the most important thing is that you wear them and swing on the bars and just do like kips and stuff because then they actually get the feel of your hand so and that is how you break in your grips 